Hello everybody, I'm meteorologist Dan Drew with your weather on demand for UpperMichiganSource.com. Today at the National Weather Service in Nagani, high of 60 or 76 degrees, excuse me. So right around average for this time of year, the low of 50 just below average. But look at this record high set back in 2001 on this day. 96 degrees, not easy to get upper 90s here in upper Michigan. So this evening at the 8 o'clock or so we'll say the 730 uh, time, uh, we are seeing a few clouds across upper Michigan, but note the thickest of the clouds just to our west and we're still seeing plenty of sunshine here in the eastern UP. Just to our west though, there is some evidence of a little bit of rain trying to work its way into upper Michigan and it's moving into Ashland and maybe we'll probably end up skirting parts of Gogibbon maybe even onto Noggin counties before the evening is out. Although there is one thing working in our favor. This is uh, some very humid air just to our west. We're still in some of this dry air. A dew point of 54 degrees in Menominee is good news for us because a lot of that rain will dissipate as it gets into upper Michigan. But I still believe we'll see a stray shower at least overnight, if nothing else. So as we get into the evening hours, Predictor 6 wants to bring in one or two of those showers. But by and large, it keeps the bulk of that rain out of upper Michigan until at least tomorrow morning. And then on to Noggin, go give county, start to see a little bit of rain as we start the day. And generally, this rain does manage to stick in the western UP tomorrow. Even as we get into the afternoon hours, it probably will be infringing here on Marquette as we get later in the day. And then as we get into the evening hours, that rain moves more to the east before kind of fizzling out a little bit overnight and pushing a little bit more to the south. Now, as we start out the day on Saturday, there might be a stray shower left over in the eastern UP, but most of the day will be dry until we get into the afternoon hours. A few pop up showers and thunderstorms certainly possible. Outside of that, it's not going to be an all day soaker and at least temperatures get warmer a little bit as we get into the rest of Saturday. Now, Sunday will probably be the warmest day of our weekend, but note this cold front. It's going to make things a bit on the wet side. Certainly going to be watching for a few showers on Sunday. Sunday, it could be an all day event, but uh, we're still at least keeping our eye on that. Outside of that, it looks like things begin to dry out after that. So for our night tonight, we'll be looking at mainly cloudy skies in the western UP, and we'll still be seeing those clouds filtering into the east, but the opportunity is there to see a stray shower in the western UP overnight as temperatures back off into the mid 50s to around the low 60s. Your day for tomorrow, it looks like it's going to be a gloomy one here in the western UP. The opportunity for some rain and uh, not much in the way of sunshine. Temperatures generally in the low to mid 70s. We don't see as much cloud cover in the central UP, but I'm sure we'll see a good dose of clouds, uh, especially high and mid level clouds. Temperatures generally in the low to mid 70s. So once again, there is the opportunity to see rain but those chances lessen as you head to the east and probably not going to see much in the way of rain here in the eastern UP, but not ruling out a shower or two, especially later on in the day. Temperatures will be warmest in the east because we will see the most sunshine out here, ranging uh, temperatures ranging anywhere from about the low 70s to around the mid to upper 70s. Your TV six day forecast temperatures going to warm up for the weekend. We cool back down slightly as we get into early next week. Best chance for rain comes Sunday and then we might see a straight shower early Monday morning before drying out in the middle of the week. Have a wonderful day.